What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new mini series I'm going to be doing on my channel, basically walking you guys through how to use PK Hex to make your gen mons look legitimate, as well as pass Nintendo or Game Freak's hack check. Each of these videos will be assuming that you already have access to a homebrew 3DS because I will not be walking you guys through how to homebrew your 3DS. Because I do not want to be responsible if you guys mess up and break your 3DS. So Joe Door makes a bunch of tutorials on how to access homebrew and uh, I'll leave a few of those videos in the description of this video. These videos are basically meant for educational purposes for my friends who are having trouble ginning their mons. And uh, I know Pokemon ginning is a hot button topic in the community right now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hate in the comment section, but uh, I really don't care. Alright guys, welcome to the first part of my PK Hex tutorials. Today I'm going to show you guys how to gen 7th gen mons to make them look like you bred them from an egg. Obviously this is not going to be including the Ultra Beasts and the other legendaries because legendaries are not breedable. Um, this is just strictly mons that you can breed. Um, I will be handling Ultra Beasts and other legends from 7th gen in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. So for this example, we're just going to go with like a Mimikyu or something. So for species, you just type in the name of the Pokemon you want to make. So Mimikyu. For nickname, uh, just name it whatever you want. It has to be between 12 characters, I believe. Um, so you can't give it some like crazy long name or whatever. It has to be 12 characters. Also, make sure that the nickname passes the sensor that Game Freak has set in place. So you can't just name your mons like Dick and Balls or something like that. So um, I usually name my Mimikyu Made in China, so we're going to go with that. Um, also up here, if you want to make your mon a male or female, uh, it doesn't really matter in most cases unless you want like a certain form. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that. Um, for the level, you can set the level to literally whatever you want as long as it as long as it works online, honestly. So you could set it to level 50, you could set it to level 100, you could be a, a child like me and set it to level 69, literally whatever you want. So. Um, for the nature, you can literally drop down this menu or type it in. Um, it has all the natures here, but for this example, we're going to go with Jolly because I think most Mimikyu these days are Jolly. Held items, same thing. There's a drop down menu with all the held items, but I think most Mimikyu run Life Orb. Um, for the friendship here, if you're running moves like uh, Return or Frustration, um, if you're running Frustration, leave it at zero. If you're running Return, put your friendship up to max which is 255 for the form most mons you don't have to worry about this um, but for mons for example like Minior has different colors um, so if you wanted to like make a specific color Minior you would click on form and then pick whatever color you want um, Mimikyu obviously you don't have to worry about that ability this is where you pick what ability your mon uh, whatever you want your mon to run. Obviously Mimikyu only has Disguise as its only possible ability. Um, for the language here, this is basically the Pokemon's, uh, basically where the Pokemon is from. So for me, I speak English. Um, you can make it Japanese, you can make it a French Mimikyu, Italian, whatever. But for me, we're going to stick with English. And uh, I usually click this center box here. Um, basically that infects the Mimikyu or the Pokemon with Pokerus. Um, which is handy for EV training if you ever have to redo EVs later. I always just go ahead and click that. Um, you could also cure your Mimikyu, which I think is the default. Um, or you could leave it uncured, whichever you want. I, it doesn't really matter. So for the country, you're basically going to put where you live. I live in the United States. Subregion is going to be, for me, what state I live in. So North, uh, North Carolina. I almost said North America. North Carolina for me. And then the 3DS region is basically where your 3DS is from. So I am in the Americas, so that's where my 3DS is from. And sorry, my phone is going off. <laughs> um, so next we move on to the Met tab. And basically the origin game is which game this Pokemon is from. So since I have Moon version, we're going to leave it at Moon. If you have Sun, change it to Sun. Really doesn't matter in the long run. Met location. I usually just find it simple just to do like route one. It really doesn't matter. As long as it's a location that's possible in game, um, you're set. Um, for the Pokeball, you could change it to Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Beast Ball. Um, basically, the only ones you can't do uh, are Cherish Ball because that's for event mons only. And the Dream Ball, which I believe was like 5th gen Dream World stuff. 
Um, so those are the two that I believe you can't do. Also, there are other balls that are obviously not released yet. So just make sure that the Pokeball you choose is one that's actually released. It's honestly just easier just to go with the standard Pokeball. Met level. If you're making a Mon that you want to look bred, obviously the Met level will be 1. Um, the Met date is going to default to whatever date your computer says it is. And then as egg, you want to make sure you click that. Also, do not click the Fateful Encounter. This is for event mons only, but we'll get into that in a separate video. So leave that uh, unchecked for now. And then check the as egg button, and it'll go ahead and uh, default this to Nursery Helpers and today's date. So we move on to the Stats tab, and here you can just make your... IVs, whatever you want. You can max them out. You can leave them at zero if you want to. I don't know why you would. Um, but yeah, you could do that. Um, here is if you want like a certain hidden power. Um, so let's say you wanted like hidden power fire, you click that. Um, oh, also one thing while we're here. Uh, if you press control and you hold it and click, if you left click on one of these stats, you'll see, it, you'll notice it turns green. And what that means is it's hyper trained. So it's a good thing to do if you want a mon with like some certain hidden power, but since Mimikyu is a physical attacker, not a special attacker, we're not going to worry about hidden power. But uh, yeah, if you press control and click, it'll hyper train that stat so you don't lose any points. Um, and then of course over here are the EVs. You can just max out whatever you want. <laughs> I just tried to do special attack, sorry. Um, but yeah, Mimikyu is a physical attacker, so we're going to go with max attack, max speed, and then the rest in HP. Um, but you could do whatever you want, depending on what mon you're running. Um, also, if you're running like a special attacker, it is a good idea to go ahead and set your attack IVs to zero. Um, and what that does is it helps you take moves like foul play, um, and also if you get confused, you'll hit yourself for less damage. Um, but only do that for special attackers, obviously. Physical attackers definitely need all the attack power they can get, so. For the attacks tab, basically just choose four moves that the Pokemon can legitimately get in the game. So for Mimikyu, I think most of them are running the Swords Dance set, so. Swords Dance, uh, let's say Play Rough, Shadow Claw, and Shadow Sneak. And sorry for my keyboard, it's really loud, I know. Make sure that you click the PP up button up here um, because it actually gives you more PP here because if you'll notice on Swords Dance, it defaults at 20, but if you add PP ups, you get all the way up to 32. So you get a lot more moves that way. Um, and then here for the relearn moves, this is basically like for egg moves and stuff. Um, what you do here, you don't even have to touch this. You can just click outside, like in between this uh, red uh, exclamation point and in between the text box just click in between that and it'll bring up this prompt it'll say apply suggested le uh, relearn moves just click yes and you'll see all those red uh, exclamation marks are gone that means that it's legit and then finally we go on to the OT slash miscellaneous and for here you will need your trainer ID and your secret ID if you don't know what that is if you go to the trainer info button here, you'll see my trainer ID is here, my secret ID is here. So you basically just copy those button or copy those uh, numbers and put your trainer ID in the trainer ID, your SID in the SID, and then train or put your uh, trainer name, your OT original trainer, which will be right here. This you can actually leave blank. I don't know why that was filled, um, but yeah, the only time you fill this is if you want to make if you want to make it look like it was a traded mon. Um, but yeah, that's the only time you ever have to touch that. Or with, uh, like, fuck, what is it called? <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Uh, Pokey Transfer, that's what I meant. If, uh, like, if it's a Pokey Transfer mon, that's the only time you really have to touch this. But yeah, you're pretty much done at this point. All you have to do now is come down to reroll. You can leave the memories, the medals, and ribbons alone. You don't really have to touch those unless you just want to, but be aware if you add ribbons, make sure you're adding ribbons that are actually in Sun and Moon because if you don't, it will flag your mon is not legit. Um, and same for medals. And for memories here, you can leave it alone or you could pick whatever memory you want. It really doesn't matter. So right here, you're gonna come down to reroll and you're gonna click it once. 
And as you'll see up here, this little check mark means that the mon is now legitimate, but it's not totally legitimate because you have to come back to the main tab and click reroll here at the top, and that'll give your mon a PID. Now, one final step, if you wanna make your mon shiny, click this little box beside PID, and you'll see this little red star beside Mimikyu and the little icon. That means that you will now have a shiny Mimikyu with a life orb and whatever set you gave it. And then you can click to make sure it's legit by clicking on the check mark and it'll bring up this alert saying it's legal. So that means it will pass the hack checks. And that's pretty much it. All you're going to do now is pick a box, whatever box you want to uh, put this mon in. So for example, we'll just put it in my box one. Right click and click set. And now I have a Mimikyu in my box one. And then once you're done, go to file, export sev, or save, whatever, uh, export main. And then I'm not gonna do this because I already have, or I don't even have my SD card in my computer currently. But uh, if you do, then obviously you would just overwrite your main file and that's it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to do legends and ultra beasts stuff like that. So I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I love you. Peace out.